This morning we're out in Beachwater, Ohio. We have a rather large job to take care of. It's probably going to be four to six days, and that's good days. Uh, if we have bad weather, it may take a little longer. I always like to try to start out at the street whenever I do an install. It doesn't matter if it's large or small. I like to know just where I want to put that pipe underneath the sidewalk coming to the curb hole. Then lay out the line for the day's excavation. So before you even put a shovel in the ground, step one is to use the 811 service Call before you dig and have them locate all of the utilities in the yard. Let me show you the rest of this job. We've got a downspout to drain install here on the left side. I'm going to tunnel this sidewalk, hook up that spout, come back here to the backyard, and hook up this spout as well to the new drain tile going out to the street. And back here, in heavy rains, even moderate rains, this area floods with water. So we're going to install a yard drain, actually on this side, uh, and as well as a sump pit right here, and then bring that line out and tie it in to our new drain tile going out to the street. So that's three rainwater drainage systems we will be covering in these how-to videos and how they work together to move rainwater out to the street. Watch the entire series of do-it-yourself French drains, yard drains, backyard sump pump discharge systems, and downspout drain tiles right here on Atlantic Drain.